Cardinals hosting the Padres, and the Padres are minus 104 on the money line. The Cardinals are minus 112 over under seven and a half runs. The Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 146, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Cardinals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 178, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. It's supposed to be 92 degrees with five mile an hour winds from the right to the left and a 14% chance of rain. King pitched once against the Cardinals last year. Three and a third, no runs, no earned. They won 6-2. That was in St. Louis, and he struck out two. Gray did not pitch against the Padres last year or this year. Head-to-head, -head, they are 5-5 five five against each other. The home team is 5-5. Five five. The underdog is 6-4 on the money line. And the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. There have been three one-run games in their last 10. The under is 5-3-2. <clears throat> And the over-under at seven and a half runs is five and five. The Padres are four and one in King's last five starts. The over is hitting his last two, and the over is four and one in those starts. Five and two-thirds innings pitch, 4.4 hits, 2.6 runs, 1.6 of which were earned, 7.8 strikeouts, two walks per game, 0.4 home runs. He gave up one home run in his last start. 91.6 pitches per inning, 91.6 pitches per game, 16.3 pitches per inning. For Gray, they are 1-4 in his last five starts. They've lost his last three. The under is hitting his last four. The under is 4-1 and one in his last five. So it's curious to see which way this game is going to go, over or under. Six innings pitched, 5.6 hits, 3.4 earned runs, 7.4 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, 1.6 home runs. He's given up a home run in his last five starts, and he gave up two in his last start. 95.4 pitches per game, 16.1 pitches per inning. The Padres are 3-1 and one in their last four. Five runs, 11 runs, 12 runs, 7 runs. Three runs and a win, seven runs and a win, seven runs and a win, and then three runs and a loss. For the Cardinals, 2-2 two and two in their last four. Five runs, 11 runs, 12 runs, 7 runs. Three runs and a win, four runs and a loss, five runs and a loss, and then four runs and a win. I will take the Padres with the money line. I will take the Padres laying the runs, and I'm going under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.